In this chapter, we are going to cover the pages, pages, concept, and uh, dashboards. Now, pages are very important from performance and smart design perspective. From performance perspective, they help in splitting the steps on a dashboard into multiple pages. So when you start or run a preview a dashboard, you are going just to fire the steps or queries that are on that page. So if you have 50 steps or 40 steps on, on, on a dashboard, and you have 20 on the first or 15 on the first and 25, you are going to split the steps, the time that takes to refresh the dashboard page into half pretty much. The other way to use them is through dynamic effects. And this exercise is going to cover dynamic effects, for example, show or hide certain widgets. This exercise is gonna walk us through these. We are going to build more than a page and then use it to hide and show a values table. Now, obviously, you need to know some of the limits, 20 pages per dashboard. Please take a look at this video. This is the art of the possible with the dashboards. Again, it's vimeo.com. Just copy the number and you will have an idea how you could fully use pages on a dashboard. We are going to go to this exercise where we are going to add the table, a way to hide the values table that we added to the dashboard show or hide that using pages. So let's go just dive deep into the exercise. So I'm looking at my dashboard. As long as you have this kind of format, you have the, these two widgets on top, you have the values table right here, and then you have the, the chart under it, whether the product family or the POP combo chart. First, we are going to, let me zoom in. We are going to the untitled right here. This is the page. And we are going to rename this to summary. So we can hit apply. This is summary. Then I'm going to clone it. In this particular case, I'm not starting for, uh, with a fresh page. I'm just going to clone the page. So I'm going to hit the drop down and clone as is. So notice it's a new tab. It's exactly the same position, the same widgets. I'm going to rename to details, for example. So now I have two pages on this dashboard. I'm going to go back to summary and I'm going to delete the values table. Just select it, hit delete, it deleted. Then drag a link. And push up this component up. If you have other components, you can push them up. But that's fine for now, for the exercise. The other thing is for the button, we can call it show details, for example. We can get a little bit creative. If you go search for example, magnifier emoji, you can actually copy these. You can copy it from here or here. And go back, paste it right here. So you can add these icons right here. This will link to a page in layout and that page will be details because I want to show details and we will see the behavior in a bit. Now we go to details, I have the table, but I do need to insert the link again. This time I'm going to keep the table and hit the shift button, creating space for this button right here. Now for this, I'm going to say hide details. So simply this hide details and it's going to go back to the first page, page and layout, choose page. This is the summary page. Now that I have this hide details linking back to summary, go back to summary, just make sure that this links to details. Yep. Let's go preview this. So as I look at the dashboard, zoom out a little, I can say show details and hide details. So this is a pretty cool effect. Um, as a reminder, the chapter we talked about smart dashboard templates out of the box, the metrics trend, have that enabled. If you want to take a look at it, how it's done, also it's available there. Don't forget that pages are good because the split the, so in this case, it's dynamic behavior, but if you had different widgets, you would split the steps between the different dash, uh, different pages 
and you can navigate between those pages the way you want. Also, the tip about using a container with the background image, we mentioned in previous chapters, use a container with a background image and put on it a link, transparent link to have a, a, the effect of clicking on an image taking you somewhere, wherever you want.